Both Carl Sagan and George Carlin were known for promoting healthy skepticism, but in today's world, even basic facts and reality are being questioned. The phrase, just asking questions is often used by those claiming to be critical thinkers, but in reality, they are spreading misinformation and behaving like conspiracy theorists. Just like consuming alcohol, asking questions should be done responsibly. The late comedian George Carlin is having a cultural moment these days, including a new HBO documentary about him. If Carlin had a single rallying cry, it was, question everything. He once remarked, nobody questions things in this country anymore, adding that many Americans were too quick to accept what they were being told by advertisers, politicians, or religious institutions. That message has long resonated with me because I, too, am a big believer in the power of questioning. I have written three books on the subject and have shared my thoughts on inquiry with the U.S. Army, NASA, and here at Big Think. But lately, I find myself wondering what Carlin and Sagan might make of today's world, in which so many people do seem to be asking skeptical questions about pretty much everything. From vaccine effectiveness to election results to climate change, large swaths of the population are questioning what they are being told by supposed experts, such as scientists. Of course, cranks and conspiracy theorists have always posed outrageous questions to whoever would listen. But today, such questions are being aired by influential media pundits and podcasters, with millions soaking it up. In fact, there is so much of this type of provocative questioning going on, that Urban Dictionary has a term for it. Jacking off, which is defined as the act of asking leading questions to influence your audience, then hiding behind the defense that you're just asking questions. To a questionologist like myself, all of this can be pretty disheartening. I have always thought of questioning as a tool of learning and discovery, one that helps us dig deep to get at the truth. How might one define responsible questioning? Here's my own highly subjective view. I think as we ask challenging, skeptical questions of the world around us, particularly in these polarizing times, we should always endeavor to do so with one, an open mind, two, a healthy respect for facts, and three, consideration for other people's feelings. First, many people these days equate questioning with critical thinking. I'm asking skeptical questions about what the government or news media is telling me, so that proves that I'm a critical thinker. Second, questioning facts is fair game. Scientists do it. But it is crucial to understand that the burden of proof is on the questioner who is challenging the predominant evidence. Finally, it's worth noting that how you ask questions, your tone and language, does matter. Questioning can come off as confrontational, even when done with the best of intentions, 